So, so here's get camera going and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So what we're going to work on today is we're going to work at kind of making a flesh tone value scale. Okay. And we're going to start with just this like real left hand column. And then I'm going to decide if I want you to do the middle. Um, I feel like you should definitely do the one on the right hand side. So we'll kind of see about how I feel about the middle one in a little bit. So this is how I kind of zero to 10. That's kind of how I want you to set that up. And then we're going to go through mixing it together. Then um, I've kind of left or made this um, skin tone mixing just kind of um, note card so you can kind of remember your directions but we'll come back to that so like I said this first one on your bullet point that's just your paint colors that you need so these are just the basic colors that you need to make a basic skin tone and then it kind of adjusts depending on what type of skin tone you're needing okay so we are going to be focusing a Caucasian skin tone, but then I can also show um, uh, different skin tones later or as we do our value scale that kind of gets its different skin tones, okay? So let me talk about your packet that I have here. Okay, if you haven't kind of guessed, we're gonna be moving on to portraits here soon. So you need to hang on to this. Um, this is just kind of like for your knowledge type deal and then these are visual references that we're going to be working through for the next few days okay so tomorrow we're going to try and tackle a nose um, but we need to learn how to do skin tones first all right so kind of basically this skin chart here um, that's almost like a value scale and then it also breaks it down into like what your bases could be your mid-tone shadows um, the warmths in there and then like your highlights and it goes all the way down and kind of shows what you would do for that, okay? Um, this is kind of the same thing here, just a little more simplified in that you've got what your portrait is and you can see it's different kind of celebrities there. And then you've got like your highlights, the mid-tones and then your shades. This here shows a progression of underpainting to make up a portrait okay so it starts off you know real basic and then you just kind of build up your layers and layers until you end with your details okay um, this one that has the it's kind of pointing out like this color here are what you mix to get that color okay so we're gonna kind of go through that these that's also and it's on its side this one I wanted to make everything fit um, this one gives you kind of like your little, oh, like math problems on how to make that color. So it'll be white plus yellow ochre, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then there's this one. We're going to kind of mix up our skin tones a little differently than this. Um, we can do it the same way, but I feel like the way that we're going to do it today, it gave me a more accurate skin tone than going this route. But you can do either way. Okay, all right, shoe. Go ahead and have your um, index card out. And I'm going to go ahead and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to be aiming for number five first and then we're going to work our way through okay so we're going to be mixing so grab your palette knife and the brush that you want to use today just use a real small one and we'll actually be probably utilizing pretty small brushes as we're doing these tutorials and then we're going to enlarge out our portrait and probably go back to our normal size okay so on your note card let me find the one that i've already finished here we go on the note card on the front you could put number one as in your step one where you want to mix umber and red in equal parts okay so on the front of your note card let me move it down here put number one and put umber plus red in equal parts 
and then mix. And then I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna give you the direction for you to write it down and then I'm gonna show you. Okay, so number one, umber plus red and basically equal parts. And then you mix that up with your palette knife. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of move my, I have two, I kind of have two working note cards here. I'm gonna move those out of the way so that I have my little mixy thing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab up my umber. Okay, and we're gonna kind of mix up a pretty good amount today because we're gonna use it all week, okay? So umber, I know it might be kind of dark up on the screen there. Umber, and I'm gonna make sure that I wipe my palette knife off so I don't contaminate. And then I'm grabbing red. And like I said, kind of in pretty much equal parts here. I might need to grab more. And then mix those up. If you have any paint that's kind of like dryish that you're trying to work here, throw some of that gel medium in there. Bye. Okay, and hopefully you're under light where you can see what you're doing. Okay, so you should be getting a fairly like rich kind of reddish brown. You just kind of want to get that mixed up pretty thoroughly. And try to keep it. All right, guys. Okay. And then try to keep your paint like located in a little, you know, one kind of one area. Don't let it go all over the place. Okay. Now, grab your note card and something to write with. And number two, add yellow in equal part. So pretty much grab as much yellow as you did for umber and red. So add yellow in equal. I have no idea what that was my word for equal. E-A-C-A-L. You guys can probably see that I was trying to do this fast. Okay, add yellow in equal part and then mix that up. Okay, so add yellow in equal part and then mix. So I'm gonna make sure that I wipe off my palette knife first so I don't contaminate. Then I'm gonna grab up yellow, kind of an equal amount that I had for the red and umber and then I'm gonna add that and mix. Should kind of tone the color down just a little bit. So instead of having a reddish brown, what should we have now? kind of an orangey brown. Is everybody getting that? If it's still looking like a bit on the red side, grab up some more yellow. You should have a pretty orangey brown at this point. Okay. How's everybody doing so far? Don't know. What do you? If it's still more on the red side, grab more yellow. Can't tell. You want me to come see? Thank you. 
So ultimate goal is kind of an orangey-ish brown. Okay, so that gets us through number one and number two. So now number three, so on your card, so kind of pause what you're doing, even if I told you to recorrect on your color. So number three is add, I just abbreviated it to ultra blue because there are different blues in there. So add ultra blue, in a smaller amount and mix. So it's no longer equal parts. You need less blue than all the other three colors that we've used. Okay? So I'll do that here and then I'll let you know kind of what color you're shooting for. So the blue is going to do what to our color? Darken, yeah, it's canceling out the orange part. Okay, so it's D, we're desaturating this brown down. Okay, so I'm starting with, I mean, a pretty, it's still a good size amount of blue, but it's a lot less than what I have been using. So I'm going to start here. So always start with less than what you think. And then you can always add. <clears throat> So we're kind of wanting to desaturate that down. So we're kind of wanting to come to a neutral, neutral-ish brown, sort of. But still have just a little bit of that. We're just trying to get that desaturated orange, basically. Okay, so I need more blue. go so you're still gonna have like the warmth of we've made it really warm temperature wise and adding that red and the yellow to it okay and so now by adding the blue down we're kind of toning down that temperature okay so your brown is kind of neutralizing itself out a little bit it's still nice and rich, but we're just kind of bringing that temperature down a little bit. Still want it on the orange side because we need that inherent color in there, but just need to tone it down. Okay, so it's kind of like a 
a little bit on like the chocolatey brown side. Okay, and once you guys get that mixed up, I want you to kind of scoop it up and set it off to the side on your paper here. Okay, because that's going to be like our working base, and I've made quite a bit, so it should last me for a while. Okay. How's everybody doing? Am I going too fast? Uh, yes. Okay. I will slow down. Okay, so once you've got kind of basically like a chocolatey brown achieved here, scoop it, set it off to the side, and then we're ready for number four, which is add white to achieve a tan, but we're going to do it kind of the opposite way. We're going to grab our white, start with that, and then add our brown that we just made to it instead of the other way around so we don't waste a lot of white. And we probably are just spending almost all class just to get <laughs> our very base flesh tone, which means that tomorrow we'll work on the value scale. I mean, we still have quite a few minutes, but we're just kind of seeing that's where we're about going. Okay. All right. So on your note card, number four, instead of writing saying add white, put... Um, Start with white, add brown to achieve tan. Okay, so I'll show you that. So I mixed up my brown. I set it off to the side. Now I'm going to grab a pretty good size amount of white. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a little bit of the brown and I'm gonna start mixing that up okay so I'm kind of checking this out seeing if I if I grab too much white I can kind of set some off to the side but I do need to be working from this quite a bit okay so I'm going to kind of keep adding <clears throat> a little bit more brown to this so that I can get to a tan Okay, so my brown that I had, it's ultimately got more red in it because this tint that I'm getting is kind of, it's got a little bit of a pink hue to it from that brown, which that's okay. That's kind of what you're wanting. You probably want it to be a little more on the, well, it doesn't really matter, a little more on the pink side. We're gonna adjust it anyway. Okay, guys. Okay, so I kind of have this like pinkish tan now. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually, when we do this and get the correct skin tone, cause we're just a little too on like the pink or the red side, you're gonna actually use your own skin color. So this might technically be a little different to everybody. 
So when I mixed this up the first time, I just looked at my hand, kind of like right here on my knuckle, and I compared the color of my skin to what I had my paint down. And so then I adjusted. So if your paint is like mine and it's a little on the pink side, then I need to grab yellow to adjust it. If your tan or whatever you have right now is a little more on the yellow side, then you need to add red to it. If your tan is a little bit more on the orange side, then you need to add blue to it to desaturate. <laughs> okay, Emily's making a face. Um, I, I don't know what white, what is my skin? <laughs> okay, well, so, well, it's not though, okay? Okay, so, this is, well, okay, so, let me come around and I guess I will tell you where you're at and what you need to add so you can identify and then um, adjust. Like mine, I need to add yellow because mine's too red. Okay, guys, we're actually going to have to pause here. Can we, like, scoot things up and take them in the Yeah, you're going to have to. All right, so on yours, we're going to have to add probably a little bit more brown and more yellow. Okay. All right, guys, the color that you have right now, right now because we gotta clean up scoop that up and just swap it in the middle of your huh yes yeah yeah so whatever colors we mixed up like that brown scoop that up and throw it like in either one of the wells in your paint palette or in the middle so you should have like a dark brown that you're putting in there and then whatever flesh tone that you've worked from so get those scooped out in your palette and then we will work from it tomorrow.